the first exercise on our list is the push through. So these are super classic exercises. Push through, and it runs into port de bras, which is also super classic, and then to reverse arms. So a classic little tiny series meant to just open up the spine, open up the shoulders. So here, I will start there. This one is contraindicated for people with disc or lo where loaded flexion is a contraindication. So I would start here with my feet on the poles. And right away, you might find that somebody needs a um, modification. If somebody has really tight hamstrings, they're not going to be able to sit here like this. So you could let them bend their knees a little bit, or you could swing the legs down and modify it this way. So I'm going to start here, take a breath in. I hinge my body back, rounding the stomach, and then exhale, pressing forward and through. So it becomes a posterior chain stretch, right? So if my bar is going to pass the risers, I really want to have a hand on there to protect it. Then I'm going to reverse the motion, rolling up and pressing upward, getting the shoulders on stretch. I can bend the knees a bit to get more of a stretch, keeping that back in more of a neutral or extended position. One more time through and press. Nice and smooth. Notice my arms don't bend at all through the motion. So variation, again, could be here. And then I could press. Here I can actually go further because my hamstrings are not in the way to block me. And then rolling back, pressing upward, right? And then the other, so that was the round back. Then we have flat back hinge. So don't confuse flat, flat back hinge in this instance with back safe. It is not back safe for loaded because here, the difference is I don't round back, I hinge back and then I round forward, but I still have that rounding forward component, which is not safe for low backs. Reverse and press up. So the difference in flat back is hinge back, round forward, right? And then if I wanted to make this back safe, I would have to keep the back in neutral the whole time. So I can go, hinge and then press without without rounding my back so notice how i don't have i don't have nearly the same range of motion if i have to keep that back straight here right hinge and up or do it with the legs down so i get a little more motion hinge keep the back straight hinge keep the back straight hinge and press so that could be a back safe modification the other thing I use to make this back safe is cat. So kneeling cat, which I'll show you in a bit, is just a modification in kneeling, which is a very similar exercise. So from here, we progress to port de bras. Port de bras, one hand in the middle, one hand underneath. I lean back around, opening up. I can hold here for a stretch, and then I continue the circle, cross over, settle my hips. Now I'm reaching in the opposite diagonal, pulling the shoulders back. And then reverse around, all the way around, grabbing here, pressing up, rotating my body. Right. So then I could do the same on the other side, rounding, hold, sweeping around, stretch, reverse, all the way back where I came from, bar goes up, and hand to the pole, opening up for that rotation. From here to go straight into that flow, I spin myself around, push the bar down, both hands on. So this is the reverse arms. So this one is more contraindicated for shoulders as well and lower back. So you would wanna be careful about somebody with a shoulder injury as well as low back. Exhale, round my way down, opening up those shoulders, trying to keep the shoulders away from the chin, right? trying to keep my neck long. And then reverse, rounding forward. Bend the elbows, press the bar up to the sky. Big shoulder stretch. And again, pulling down. And press. And reversing. And reach. Great. And so those are the first three in the series. So now I'll show them to you with spotting them. So for a different body type, with tighter hamstrings, right? We are gonna start feet against the pole and sitting up really tall. 
So for him, he's already a little bit rounded, so we're pushing the hamstrings here. Uh, but we'll, we'll go through it anyway. So I'm going to have you hold on to the bar. My hand goes in the middle of the bar, so I'm holding on to the bar with him. Let your arms go straight. Exhale, belly rounds. So imagine my foot in your stomach, belly rounds, bar presses down through the shoulders, and then forward. Just follow the bar with your body. Good. Right, and so I'm controlling the bar. I'm not pushing the bar or pulling the bar. I'm just keeping hold of it. Then let's reverse that motion back. Press up to the sky. Now here, if I wanted to give him moisture to so open the chest, you can bend the knees here. Right, come forward, head up. Yes, open the upper back, yes, lift. I can give him more stretch. So I can come in, because I'm smaller than he is, I can slide my hands down the bar, and I can just press upward and give him more stretch. Right, he holds on, so it should feel good. And then reverse, so coming down, arms stay straight, body stays there. Round and press forward. So body goes forward. Right, nice stretch through there. And then reverse. Arms stay straight, pressing up, lifting up. Lift your back, bend your knees, bend your knees more. Good, lift up through the spine. Beautiful, that's it. Good, so that would be the classic version. Modification would be legs wide. So let's take a look and see if you drop your legs off. Right, the only complaint that sometimes tight-legged people give me here is that their inner thighs then have to stretch too much. So he will roll back, roll forward, and follow. And I'm, again, especially here, I'm never gonna let go of this bar. Right, so much different motion, right? Then reverse, round, and press the bar up to the sky. Right, enjoying that stretch. So he's gotten more mobility as we're warming up here. Right. Okay, so that would be that modification. Feet against the bar. Flat back version. Again, not back safe, flat back. Body's tall. Hinge backward. So keeping the spine straight. Now tuck your chin and follow the bar forward. Right. And then come back to that hinged position. Keep your back straight. Hinge forward. Bend your knees. Hinge forward. Right, so we're just keeping the lift in this lower back here for that one. Great, and then the back safe version, it would be really small. So he'll hinge back, keeping that back lifted, yes. And hinge forward, don't bend the back, just the shoulders press, yep, stop, you're already rounding. Yes, so bend your knees a little bit. So he's gonna have a really hard time unless I take his feet off of the Cadillac. So why don't you come around? Uh, open your legs to make this back safe for him. I'd really have to have him here. Good, now hinge, don't bend. So keep up, lifted, right, and stay there with it. Stay with it. Good, that's it. So that's about where he goes. And then reverse, keep the back straight, hinge backward. Good, and bar upward, keeping the back straight and long. That would be the back safe version for him.